Kristen Apple and welcome to my Packing for Europe video. I just got back from Europe and instead of filming this before I left, I decided to sort of like un film unpacking because now that I spent two weeks in Europe, I have a better idea of like what I wish I would have packed more or less of. So let's get started. First I'll show you guys all my like just really casual like t-shirts and shorts. So I brought these three crop t-shirts from American Eagle and they're all exactly the same. They just have a couple buttons in the front and then they're cropped at the bottom. So I just brought a burgundy and a navy and a green one. And then I brought two ringer tees. One's burgundy and one's blue. And those are both just like regular length t-shirts. And then I brought one baseball tee. This is from Forever 21. And these two ringer tees are from Target Junior's department. And then, yeah, this is from Forever 21. And then I brought two polos, a burgundy and a navy. And those are both from Abercrombie. And then to mix and match with all of those, I just brought a bunch of shorts. And so the first one, these are jean shorts from Abercrombie. And they're boyfriend style shorts. And I love these. They fit so comfortably and they mix and match really well. I loved um, especially wearing the boyfriend shorts with like one of these crop tees and then just throwing on like either flip-flops or converse. So yeah, I'm like a huge fan of these. Go get some boyfriend shorts <laughs> if you don't already have some. I also brought a pair of khaki shorts that I never wore, so I actually might return these, but those are from Abercrombie. I just don't look good in khaki shorts. Like my legs are so pale, they just, it doesn't look right. Um, the next pair of shorts I also really loved, I wore these a ton. These are boyfriend shorts. Um, these ones are from Hollister. So like these from Abercrombie were kind of like a dark wash, so I brought these light wash ones because I think like my navy shirts, where's one? My navy shirts look better with light wash because there's more contrast. So yeah, I wore those a bunch. Those are from Hollister. And then I had a couple pair of like chino, I think they're called chino shorts. These are navy ones from Abercrombie. I don't think I even really wore them because they're kind of too small. I've had them for a long time. I should have tried them on before I left. I packed the morning of my flight, so like I literally could not have procrastinated anymore. So I didn't put a lot of thought into my packing, and I made like a lot of mistakes. So yeah, if I'd try, if I'd had time to try these on, I wouldn't have packed them because they were really too small. And then these were actually too big, so I might exchange them. I did wear them um, one time though. I wore these red shorts with like a denim button-down shirt. I thought that was cute, but they're a little bit big. So, but they're cute. I like red shorts because it's kind of unique. I wish I packed more shirts that match them though because I only had like one shirt to go with them. Um, which brings me to my button down shirts. So I brought a bunch of button down shirts. I love button downs. I wear them like this open over a camisole or I tie them around my waist um, a lot of days because you don't know if you're going to get cold and so then you, if you have it around your waist then you can put it on. If you get cold, so just really quick, these two gingham button downs are from Abercrombie. And then I, I actually didn't wear this once, so I guess I didn't need to pack it. It's just a striped button down from Abercrombie. Uh, I don't think I wore this either. It's just a blue shirt from Abercrombie. Uh, I did wear this, though. This is from American Eagle. It's just like a blue plaid. I think it's their, one of their boyfriend style. This I wore a ton. This is from Forever 21 and I wore this um, like around my waist and like over camisoles like a bunch. I love this shirt and it was really cheap too. Forever 21 has some really good stuff. And then here's my denim shirt or chambray shirt. This is from Hollister and I wore that a couple times. Um, like I said I wore it with the red shorts and I think I might have tied it around my waist when I had on like a floral dress um, one of the days. So yeah. Chambray shirt, definitely pack that if you're going to Europe. You can wear it a lot of, with a lot of different things. So, um, And then to go under my button downs, I made sure I packed a lot of camisoles. Um, I may have already unpacked some of them, like I'm wearing one of them right now. Uh, but this is just like three white camisoles and one gray one. And they're all just like your standard camisole. And then pajamas, I just brought one set of pajamas for the whole two weeks. Normally I would never wear the same pajamas for two weeks, but I just was like really pinched for space. So, and I went like totally casual. I did not pack cute pajamas. I just packed these gray 
jogger pajama pants from Abercrombie. These are actually men's size small, but they fit me and they're super comfortable and I just love jogger style. And they're like a really light material, which is great for summer, so they're not super hot. And I don't know, I think they look really cute with like, if you have like a really tight little like girly tank top to pair with them. Um, but I, I was totally frumpy. I just paired them with this t-shirt from Halster, which is also a guy's t-shirt and it's a guy's size small. I love the guy's pocket tees. I sleep in them a lot or like lounge in them or wear them to the gym or to work out. So yeah, cause the small ones actually fit really small. And I packed several pairs of casual shoes to go with all those casual outfits. So I have my Navy Jack Purcell Converse, which I got at Nordstrom's. I love these because they have no lace laces, so I can just slip them on. And because they're navy, they just match so many outfits. And so, and in Europe, or at least on our trip, we did a lot of walking, so I was really happy to have like comfortable sneakers. Like even on days when I wore dresses, like I would wear sneakers with my dress just to be comfortable. Because I mean, we walked like my some days we were literally walking miles. So, um, and then I also packed. Speaking of comfortable shoes. I also packed my Nikes. Um, these are actually a men's size 8 because they didn't have my size in the women's one, um, but I was told that they're exactly the same. So um, these are just like the Nike 5.0. I think they're super comfortable and they match a lot of stuff. I'm, I'm kind of obsessed. I've been wearing these like a whole lot lately. And then also for casual outfits, I have just some navy flip-flops, which are from Abercrombie. And then I wore those to the pool a lot and to the beach. So there was like two pools on the ship and like eight jacuzzis. So I got to spend a lot of time in the water. Um, which brings me to my next point. Bring more than one swimsuit. So I brought two swimsuits and they're both brand new and I didn't have time to try them on. And one of them didn't fit. So I ended up wearing this swimsuit every day. I was like hand washing it in the sink and some days I had to put it on when it was still wet, but um, yeah, I learned my lesson. I think if I ever do a cruise again, I'll bring like seven swimsuits, but the bottoms are from Abercrombie. Well, so is the top. <laughs> They're both from Abercrombie, and I think I got a really good deal on them. I'm pretty sure it was on sale, but I don't remember now what it was. If I do a haul video with all my Abercrombie stuff, I'll try to look up the prices for you guys. Um, and then to wear over my swimsuit, I brought a tank top and shorts. So this is just a gray and white striped tank top from Abercrombie. And I brought gray and white shorts from Halster to match with it. I also, um, this is good for like, just as a comfortable outfit um, or to wear to the gym. There was a gym on this ship. I never saw it, but I, <laughs> I heard there was a gym on like the 12th floor. So I spent most of my time on the 14th floor, which was where there was like food 24-7. I had, oh my god, okay. This video is going to get too long if I talk about everything I eat, so I'm just going to keep going. But I ate a lot. Like, I need a diet now. But um, I also brought pants, so I brought a pair of light wash jeans. And then, I don't know why I brought two pairs of dark wash jeans. I definitely only needed one. I only wore one. I only wore the Hollister ones. I didn't wear the Abercrombie ones at all, so I don't know why I brought both. Um, oh, and these light wash jeans are from Hollister and they're all just like the super skinny style. And then I brought a pair of khaki jeggings, which I actually did wear quite a bit. It was, um, so the ship had a lot of like dress code requirements at certain times or in certain restaurants or places. Like you'd have to dress like a certain level of like formalness. Like you couldn't wear shorts at some places or whatever. So it was kind of nice to have khaki jeggings to put on just when I needed to look a little nicer. And then for even more formal, I brought some dresses. Um, let's see. So I brought three dresses. To go under my dresses, I found these little booty shorts at Hollister and these are great. I love throwing those on under my dress because I'm always scared the wind's gonna blow my dress up. And if I'm wearing shorts, then I don't really care. <laughs> and then, so my first dress is from American Eagle and it's really casual, it's just navy. And you can see pictures of most of the outfits I wore, or at least a lot of them on Instagram. I tried to post a lot of pictures throughout the trip, but yeah, um, this navy dress I thought looked cute with this flannel tied around the waist, so I wore that with like my Converse one day. And then my more formal dresses, 
um, cause we ate in the formal dining room like every night. I wish I would have brought a lot more like nice dresses. I didn't know we were going to do that, but, um, I have this one dress, it's just blue, and I have, um, I brought a pair of black coach heels to wear with it if I want to be, like, really formal, um, but it, like, if I was feeling a little bit less formal, I also had these wedges, which I don't remember where I got them, I ordered them online, like, I think I've had these for a year or two, so I don't really remember where they're from, but yeah, those, those are really cute, and they're not quite as formal as, like, the black heels. So there's that dress, and then there was this dress, which is from Cotton On, and it's just like a black floral dress, and I know one day I wore it with this denim shirt, like, tied around the waist, and then I'm sure I wore it, I think I might have worn it another time, but yeah, I wish I would have brought more dresses, because I would have worn, or skirts, I would have worn them a lot if I had them, but like I said, I procrastinated with my packing, um, also would have brought more, like, cute tank tops like this one. This is from Aeropostale, and I just think it's super cute, and I wore it, I think I wore it over my swimsuit with shorts one day, and I don't even remember, I probably wore it another day with like, I brought a black cardigan from Forever 21, and so that I could wear the black cardigan with the tank top, and then I brought black jeans, black skinny jeans from Abercrombie. So I could wear this if I wanted to like dress up a little nicer. Like at night on the ship there's like dancing and like everybody, it's like going out but like you go out on the ship. So I had like outfits like that. Um, I also had, I brought this shirt which is from Macy's Junior's department. So I could wear that more casual with shorts if I just wanted to look a little cute with my shorts. Or I could pair it with um, either my skinny jeans or a pair of dark wash jeans and then maybe like my wedge shoes or black heels or something if I wanted to dress up, like I said, at night for whatever activities. Um, and then I also have this navy lace, I don't know what you call this, tank top, <laughs> um, from Abercrombie, which looks really good with just like a white cardigan over it. And so I wore that. And then, oh, and I also had, this is the same as this shirt. But in black it's from Macy's Junior's department and I don't even think I wore it but I do like to wear it a lot like when I go out with friends or whatever I'll put that on with jeans and it's cropped so it shows off like a little of your tummy so it's a really fun like going out shirt and then so that's all the clothes um so yeah I wish I would have brought more dresses and more cute tank tops but and then I also brought a raincoat from Abercrombie. It's just navy, and I like it because it squishes up really small. And I did wear that one time. It rained the first day we were in Rome. And I had this in my backpack, and I was really happy because everybody else was, like, running and, like, trying to buy umbrellas on the street. And I just pulled my raincoat out and was like, what's up? I'm good. <laughs> and then I also brought this navy jacket from Abercrombie, which I never wore because it's summer. It wasn't cold. Like, ever. It was hot. So... I didn't really end up needing this, but yeah, so that was all my clothes. So next I'll show you guys really quick my toiletries. My monogram toiletry bag is from Pottery Barn, and I love it. It's just like, to me, that's my style. I really like the khaki, and I like anything that has like my name or my monogram on it. And it holds everything that you need for two weeks. So really quick, I've got, I brought perfume from American Eagle. It's called Surf. It has like just a really good summer smell. I think almost kind of maybe some coconut in there. This is what the box looks like. The only um, like negative about this is I don't think the scent really stays. Like I feel like you have to apply it frequently. Like every time I went back to my room, I would be like spraying more. So I was I probably won't get it again, but it's a great summer scent. And then for my hair, I brought Air Dry Waves and this like leave-in conditioner. Those are both for curly hair because I didn't want to spend my whole vacation like drying and straightening my hair so I left it curly like every day. I don't really like my curly hair. I, I like straight hair better but it was really nice especially because I was going to the beach a lot and going swimming a lot. It was just really nice just not even to mess with my hair. I just put this in and then let it air dry and I brought deodorant of course. Um, I wore BB cream a lot like if I was going to the beach or the pool I wouldn't put on like full makeup because like it's gonna wash off, but I would put on BB cream because it has SPF in it, so it protects against it protects you from the sun. Whoa, okay, I'm having so many blonde moments today. 
Um, I actually bought this nail polish on the ship. I didn't bring it, and it's the one I'm wearing now. It's OPI, and it's called Need Sunglasses. And I just thought yellow looked like a really cute summery color. Some, yeah, summery? I don't know if that's a word. I'm, I'm struggling today. <laughs> um, but, oh, and I also got, on the ship I got some nail polish remover for in case I needed to touch it up. So yeah, I would pack, if I were to go again, I would pack nail polish and nail polish remover because I ended up wanting it. And um, I also didn't pack enough toothpaste. I ran out of toothpaste, and so I bought this toothpaste in Italy. I've never heard of Marvis, but it was the only one, so I got it. <laughs> and a comb for my hair, of course. My retainer, which I should have worn. I think I wore it like the first few days and then forgot about it. And when I got back and put it in like last night, it hurt so bad. <laughs> so yeah, um, don't forget to wear your retainer. Shaving cream, of course, so I was going to the pool, so I actually had to shave my legs like every day. And, well not every day, but you know what I mean. Makeup remover wipes, bring plenty of those. I think I had to like find more. So like every day we would like dock on land and then we would get off the boat and we could go to wherever we wanted. So, like whenever I ran out of something, I had to like go find it on land if it wasn't on the ship. So yeah, make sure you pack plenty of stuff. And then razor and toothbrush. So that's all my toiletries. Next, I'll show you guys what's in my backpack. I got the Navy Herschel backpack right before I left for Europe because, um, I don't know, I just thought it was like a lot more fashionable. So um, I, have, I usually have like my black North Face backpack. That's what I use for school. But I just wanted something like a little more... It would match my outfits a little more, I guess, for Europe. So, and I ended up loving it. I'm so glad I got it. So, back here, it has like a laptop pocket, and in that pocket, I brought my iPad, and I had like 17 episodes of Christy Knows Best just like loaded onto my iPad. So that kept me entertained on the eight-hour flight. Um, and then while I was in, we went okay, so we went to Greece, Turkey, and Italy. And I think when I was in Turkey, I bought this magazine, which had. Blake Lively on the cover, and it's in German, so I just kind of looked at the pictures. And then um, at the airport, I got an Us Weekly. There wasn't a lot to choose from. I don't normally read this, but I wanted something to look at. And then I always kept either my hoodie or my raincoat in my backpack. Like, every day I carried my backpack whenever we would go walking around, and just in case I got cold or it rained. So this is just a gray hoodie from Hollister and zip up so it's easy to take on and off and I the reason I packed my gray one is because it matches everything and I only wanted to have to pack one because I was trying to save space um and then next I just put a bunch of stuff in a ziplock so it's kind of random um sunscreen make sure you pack plenty of sunscreen because this was my second bottle I ran out and had to buy more sunscreen. I wear a lot of sunscreen. And then for my face, this is some Neutrogena SPF 70. Um, this is really great because it goes on your face like really easily and it it's not like goopy or gross. So I like that. Um, sunglasses and also my reading glasses. And then I brought swim goggles because I didn't know the pools on the ship were like four feet deep. So I didn't really need goggles. Um, but I had them. So yeah, next time I probably won't bring those. Although they're good for the beach if you go in the ocean. Um, phone and iPad charger, which make sure if you're going to Europe, you get or you bring um, some kind of converter because the outlets are different there. So I had to like buy this at one of the hotels in Rome to make sure that I could charge my phone. There was like a couple days where I just had to leave my phone in airplane mode because I was like trying to save my battery. And that really sucks, so make sure you've got your charging stuff good to go. Um, Kleenex, that's really good, so you don't have to like try to find it. It's like really hard to find a bathroom in Europe. Like a lot of the places, you have to pay like one euro just to get into the bathroom. So yeah, if you just need to blow your nose or something, you don't want to have to pay one euro. Um, then this is just some earbuds, and an extra hair tie. And then I've got my makeup. I won't like individually show you all that, but I am gonna do an updated makeup routine because I did change my makeup and I'm really excited about my new makeup. And then I've got my Beats headphones. Uh, I was really glad I had those on the plane with my iPad. That was really great for watching my TV shows. And then finally, in this like little pocket, I of course have my passport, 
I needed that a lot. <laughs> um, Tic Tacs and gum. Oil absorbing sheets. These are great because a lot of the places were like really hot and we were walking a lot. Like Santorini, I just felt like my face was melting off and I was really glad I had these. Um, hand sanitizer. I wish I would have brought more of that. As you can see, like I'm down to almost out. So <laughs> I was the only one that brought hand sanitizer. So other people were like using mine. <laughs> And yeah, I wish I would have brought a lot more. Portable hairbrush and mirror, chapstick, my Burt's Bees, and then um, some moisturizer stuff. They're like eye drops for my contacts. So that's everything in my backpack. Last, I will show you guys what I got in Europe. I didn't go on like a crazy huge shopping spree. Like I shopped a ton. I loved looking at the shops, especially in Rome. Um, and in Naples, there was a lot of cool shops, but I didn't buy that much because I'd already bought so many things like in the States. So like I shop at Hollister a lot. And so, yeah, I didn't buy that many things actually in Europe. I'm very picky about my clothes and I really, I just didn't want to buy anything that I couldn't return. So, um, but I did get this hoodie. It's just gray and I got this in Rome and it just says Universita Roma, um, I liked that the emblem was like sewn on, it's like embroidered on instead of printed on. So it'll like, when I wash it, it won't like fade or peel off. And then other than that, it's just plain gray. And I, j I know I'll wear that because whenever I have like a final exam or if I just want to be more comfortable, like I'll throw on a hoodie with like my Nikes or something. So I'll definitely wear that. And then when I was in Turkey, I did get a big box of Turkish Delight. I don't know if you guys have read the C.S. Lewis books, like the Chronicles of Narnia, or if you've seen the movie, but he gets Turkish Delight in the movie, and um, I don't know, someone brought it to our class in fourth grade, and I tried it, and it was so good, so I just had to get, like, a big heavy box of it to eat, um, so yeah, I got that, and then the cruise I was on just gave everybody a bag, so I have, like, this bag that says Celebrity Cruises, and then last but not least, I did make one big purchase. I needed a new computer for school and the ship had like an Apple store on it and they had um, a sale so I got a new MacBook Pro and that's actually what I'm filming with right now and I'm really excited about it and I also got, it's downstairs, um, I posted pictures on my Instagram, I also got an Apple mouse to go with it and, and this is just the care plan. I don't really know what that does. Um, I'll have to ask my dad. But um, yeah, I'm really excited about my new MacBook Pro. It's just like thinner and lighter than my old one and it's faster and I just had to have the other one for a long time and it was starting to like freeze up and I was like starting to really freak out that it was just going to break on me and I didn't want to wait for it to stop working. So yeah, that's everything. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.